Hey, it's Jay from Onsite Studios, and this is my assistant Mike. And today we're going to talk about what's in my bag. I was down at the PDN Photo Plus show a few weeks ago at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City, and I met a man named Doug Krantz. He owns a company called Going, which makes uh, the product called the Lens Flipper. And when I first looked at it, I said, oh, this is sort of like the Peak Design uh, camera capture. And he said, it's very similar, it has some differences. And um, he says, so uh, do you have a camera capture? And I told him I did. And he said, would you be willing to make a video uh, kind of comparing them and, and talking about the differences between the two, what you like about them, what you don't like about them. And I, I really just want an honest opinion from a photographer on, on and someone that actually uses the Peak Design product, what you think. So he gave me one of them and he said, uh, you know, give me a, give me a video and, and let me take a look. So this is the lens flipper. It's very similar to the camera capture from Peak Design. Uh, there's some big differences, there's some similarities, and we'll go through uh, those things in this video. So stay tuned and keep watching. So you got your red dot just like you have on the camera, red dot on the lens, put them together and give it a go. And that locks on, so it's not going to go away. And if you notice, it's a little different design than the, the, than the Peak Design. The Peak Design actually has the same shape as their little plates that you put on the bottom of all your cameras to, to go onto this little plate. Um, if you notice here, we have two little strap attachments. So you could just hang this thing freely by a lens strap, uh, either uh, over your shoulder, around your neck, or whatever. So the next piece that goes with this is the lens flipper clip, and it's a lot like the pad that comes from Peak Design. Okay, we're gonna open that up right now and take a look at it. Uh, so as you can see, instead of being a flat plate, it actually is, is a little device that the studs went into. And it also comes with a pad that's similar to the Peak Design, but again, it's a little bit different. Uh, it either has belt loops on the back or you can put part of it into your into your pocket and let it hang and it's it's got a, a firm material in there so it doesn't uh, you know dig into your into your skin while you're carrying the lens around. Um, very much like this and this has actually got a lot of padding on it so this is actually a pretty comfortable thing. It'll be interesting to see how this one works too. Okay so now we have the Peak Design uh, camera capture connected on to its uh, belt holder and we have the going lens flipper uh, connected on to the uh, lens flipper clip. Uh, on the Peak Design, uh, the way it, it actually rotates is you, you pull it out and you turn it around. So that's their design and on the lens flipper it, it flips. One of the things that kind of bugs me about the uh, the Peak Design system is that these little uh, body caps uh, that, that sit on the camera capture don't lock on. So if you're walking around, these things actually will catch onto your clothing and they just rotate right off and you lose one. Uh, so I've already, I drop these things all the time and it's a bit of a pain and one of them was lost forever. Peak Design was nice enough to send me a new one for no charge, but again, it's I'm sure that's something that they're not gonna wanna do forever. Uh, the camera is perfectly attached and the only way to get the lens off is to put the lens release button on there. So that works really well and, and, I, and I like that. You have a good positive thing. Uh, one thing nice about the Going product is that this cap is actually kind of a rubberized material. It's very soft and squishy and it will stay on but even if it comes off it's got its own little leash over here so you if you want to carry that around it's not going to get lost on you and again uh, here's your camera release knob here's your your lens release knob to take your lens off and when it's on it's on it's not going to come off so let me show you how we actually use this so what i'm going to do is take the lens off the camera body and i'll put it onto the lens flipper line up my dots drop it over release my other lens, put it onto the camera, and I'm good to go. And if you want to use the Peak Design version, the way you do it is very similar. Drop it on, click your camera, pull it out a little bit, rotate it around. Your lens release is right on the side here. Put it onto the camera, and you're good to go. 
So they both work in about the same amount of time. They're both pretty much the same easy. This one here holds it a little tighter to your body. This one here will give you a little bit of play. And I think that's going to be really more personal preference on how you like your equipment to be on you when you're moving around. Some people want a little bit of give. Some people might want it a little tighter to their body. It's really a personal preference. And I want to thank Doug for, uh, for uh, taking the time to talk to me when I saw his booth at, uh, at Photo Plus. It was, uh, it was great talking to him and his crew. Uh, he definitely cares about his product. He cares about his people. And, you know, uh, it was a pleasure to do this video for him uh, to, uh, to let him let you know how I think about the product. So thanks for watching. And uh, we'll be back again with What's in My Bag.